Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In front of me you can see my homemade metal melting rocket furnace that I designed and built. Today I will be melting some zinc. Here are all the different zinc scraps that I will be melting. For my crucible I will be using this small tin can. For fuel in my rocket furnace I will be using these strips of oak wood. I will be pouring the molten metal into this tiny muffin pan to make the ingots. Now let's get some fuel in my furnace and light it. Now that our fire is lit, I can prepare the crucible. I will be putting these pieces in the crucible first since they're the biggest. Next I'll put these pieces in, and then these, and then the zinc zippers. Now I will take the top off my blast furnace and put the crucible inside the furnace. Now I will set the crucible inside. Now we just keep feeding the furnace fuel until the zinc starts to melt. Now I took the top off my blast furnace and you can actually see the zinc inside is starting to melt. So a little bit more time and I think all the zinc will be molten. Now it's been a few more minutes and you can see the zinc has started to become even more molten. Now that our zinc is pretty much all molten, we can take the top off and use a metal rod to get the slag off the zinc. You can see it's pretty much all molten. Now all this debris on the top here is all slag. So we need to scoop all this stuff off. Here is all the slag that I took off the molten metal and now it's pretty much ready to be poured. And now I will take out the crucible and pour the ingots. Now what we have to do is wait until the metal solidifies and then we can put the ingots in water. Now that our ingots have solidified, we can put them in cool water to cool them down the rest of the way. Okay, the ingots have been sitting in the cool water for a little while now and now they're cool enough to touch. Okay, here are our ingots. You can see these are really neat. Here's the little mini one. It's got a little piece on it, but I think you can just break that off. If you look closely, you can see a weird texture on the top of the ingot, and I believe that is because of it cooling down quickly in the water. So here is our final product. You can see we have three big ingots and one tiny little mini one. Now that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching.